Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm back with another uh, review from Wegmans. And there's their anchovy chuffed olives. I wasn't going to get any of these. Because um, I already have a whole bunch of olives right now that I got off eBay. That I've yet to eat. Uh, the old cured ones, the really good ones. So I've been have been refraining from getting olives. I've been to Wegmans. But John pointed these out to me. I've never had anchovy stuffed olives before. So I decided to get this. This was 440 Less than half a pound. Because uh, they're like $10 a pound at, at uh, Wegmans. And that's pretty much the going price for all. They're expensive. Yeah, I remember Big Daddy's World did a live stream. Not the one I was on, but the one, uh, I don't know, a month or so ago. And he said that olives were awful. I love olives. Olives are fantastic. Except for the uh, one time I bought... I went to Ollie's, and Ollie's is another place I like to go to to find unusual foods to review at the more reasonable prices, um, for the most part. And they had uh, all the green olives stuffed with lemons, and they were awful. I think I mentioned this. I got this before the channel. This was in 2012, I remember getting those. I started the channel in 2013, but they were terrible. Um, as far as the anchovies go... When I was a kid, Dad said never get pizza with anchovies. He said anchovies are the worst thing in the world. They're lousy. And this is another, And he said that he got a pizza with anchovies. They said ruin the whole pizza because he didn't know what they were. He said never ever get anchovies. They're the worst thing in the world. And as I was growing up getting old, I was getting like canned fish. Like in middle school, high school, like sardines and uh, kippered herring, which I really liked. And Dad said, just don't get anchovies. They're awful. I never get anchovies. I took his word on it. And then, you know, in the Army, I never get anchovies or anything like that. And then some people already badmouth the anchovies and stuff. And then I know my sister was going out with this guy, Dave Kager, and he, like, can't fish. I remember he was at uh, Uncle Charlie's, and he ordered... Uh, Pizza with anchovies. That's I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. And he let me try the anchovies. Like, damn, these are good. I loved them. See, another time I listened to my dad, he was wrong. Now, as a, as a little kid, I probably would agree with him. But now, I love anchovies. Hopefully, these will be good. Hopefully, it'll be a good uh, combination. I hope. Hope, hope, hope. And gotta be weird, careful opening it up so you don't get stuff all over. They're they're stuffed. You got a little stem on them? Wait a second. I'll take the stemming off. Some of them, this one. They're, they're huge olives, though. Look at that. Mmm. Well, that's a weird combination. Wow. Between the green olive, salt and the green olive, and the fish taste, very bizarre. It was so salty. When the fish taste definitely went out. Wow. You see the anchovies right there. And they're stuffed in there. Such a bizarre combination. I kind of like it. I remember, and then after that, I used to get anchovies all the time. I, I started getting anchovy paste, which I really liked. And that was more expensive. No, but very strange. Very strange combination. But it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's good. First time, it is strange. It leaves you with a seafood taste, of course. Like a salty olive with a salty uh, anchovy. I don't know how much sodium is on this. Does it even say? No. 
I'm not written on here. It says 60 cows per all. That's about it. And what attritional tags. Oh, well. Very unusual. I give these an 8 out of 10. I still love anchovies, but boy, mix it with green olives. It's very bizarre. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. I like it, but I mean, I don't love it. I, I like it a lot, but I don't love it. So I give it eight out of ten. So if you like this review and a little bit of story time too, and until next time, everybody, please take care of my leech.